Testing into compliance is a point of emphasis for regulators. There is a real concern that test injections of samples prior to running official assays allow analysts to repeatedly prepare samples until one passes. Periodic review of data vaults using the powerful query system can help identify if this is occurring in your lab. We'll start by creating a query to look for sequences that contain sample injections that have been interrupted, a potential sign of test injections. Once the query screen opens, enter the correct search information. We will be searching for injections, with a status. That is, interrupted. Click the Query Now button to search for entries that meet the criteria. Injections that have been interrupted are now displayed. These can now be investigated further. Queries can be saved to rerun periodically, saving a lot of time and effort. Another way to check for test injections is to look for sequences with low numbers of injections. There is already a query saved that searches for sequences containing less than two injections. No sequences were found that match the criteria. The saved query can be modified and re-executed. Let's widen the search criteria to look for sequences with less than three injections. Select the 2.0 text and increase it to 3. Click the Query Now box to execute the modified query. The sequence containing two injections was found and now can be examined in detail. The modified query can be saved. Queries can be used for instrument, administration and data audit trails as well, for example to check new roles created or instrument errors. Let's create a data audit trail query. Choose where to search. And the time period. Add the advanced search criteria for deleted operations in a sequence. Click Query Now, and the records are shown. Any audit trail events are highlighted, and can be further examined. Save the query for further use. Creating queries that will search the data vault for suspicious activity, and executing them periodically, is an easy way of fully owning your data and maintaining data integrity compliance.